and there's this cutie over here. You should come and say hi to the people. We have beautiful women here standing with brains and they can make you laugh. And actually not for free, eh? Because the tickets were retailing at a thousand and two thousand. So you gotta pay to have a laughter. Probably you could tell the people your name. Those who don't know you. Okay. So my name is Mumbi. I am a spoken word poet. But uh, who said spoken word can't be incorporated into other art forms? Yeah, so that's what I did. Mumbi tunaza ongea pia Kiswahili eh? Yeah. So you feel confined sana kwa English. Unaweza ongea hata mother tongue. Wewe unatoka wapi? Eh half Nyeri half Kirinyaga. Ai 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 hii hapana. Sawa acha tu stick na Kiswahili na English. Yeah. Feel free to tell us whatever your opinions, your views or whatever. This is airing live for people who couldn't make it to to watch the show tonight, but they want to be there. So we are giving them a preview of what's happening behind the scenes. So how long have you been a spoken word poet? I've been a spoken word poet for about uh, five years now. Yeah. What inspires you to speak through poetry? Just the truth. Just wanting to share the truth and just things people aren't really always comfortable talking about. I feel it's just my job as an artist to talk about these things. Like what? When you talk about things that people are not comfortable talking about? So I write about everything from breakups to love, sometimes sex, you know, anything and everything. Anything and everything. Sex and love. These are actually topics which people fear talking about. So what is it that you did tonight? So tonight I did a letter to my future son. Tell us a letter to your future son. I presume it's actually a future son. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, so the whole thing? Okay, sure. No, you can just give us like a little bit. Okay. So to the son I might have one day, you're not the first boy I've had to raise. You're not the first boy who I've had to teach right from wrong. You are not the first boy who I've had to teach how to approach a woman. But see, it's my job to ensure that before I send you out into this world that you are right within and that you know how to respect people, especially women, from their head to their feet and everything in between. Yeah. And I want you to go on. <laughs> See, it is my job to ensure that you never have to know the affliction of a cane. And it's my job to ensure that you never see the color of your skin as a stain. And when they ask you why you walk with the confidence of a king, tell them that your mother praised you, that her words changed you, that her love made you. And when you learn how to talk, may everything that comes out of your mouth be better than silence. When you learn how to talk, may you learn how to hold back and swallow any rude comments, misogynistic jokes, lies. May they rot in your throat so that they never have to see the light of day. But most importantly, to my future son, may you know that your mother is dark-skinned, so please don't take her lightly. Oh, stunning. Beautiful. You could probably do to my future kids. To my future kids. So I'm still writing the one to my future daughter. So Wow. Uh, yeah, so when that one is out, I'll incorporate them to my Thank you. I hope you can. My name is Basil Telewa. You can share with me to my future daughter. And probably we could come up with to our future children. Yeah. So that we ca you can keep the word going, the spoken word going. Thank you so, so much. Sure, thank you. And find me on Instagram at Mumbi Poets and Facebook, Mumbi Spoken Word. How long have you been doing this spoken word? Spoken word, um, five years-ish, yeah, yeah. I'm almost six now, yeah. So it's good. Wow, you guys heard that. See, wakuchekesha peke yake, umona, iyo vibe vile ni serious manze.